Hello and welcome to Skitty Animates. I'm Skitty and today I'm going to show you how to import a model or rig into Maya. It's actually very simple and very quick so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. First we're going to go up to file and then we're going to hit import. Once you do that you're going to get this menu here where you can search your computer for wherever you have the rig saved. I just have mine saved on the desktop so I'm going to go ahead and click desktop and click on the folder jasminerosrig.ma because this is a Maya file. Click import. And now we have our model in here. As you can see, she's missing her textures because the computer wasn't sure where to load them from. So with most rigs, when you bring them in, you don't want to be able to select any of the geometry, you only want to be able to select the controllers so you don't move anything by accident. So if you look on the right hand side, we have something here that says Jasmine Rose Geo. And there's three little buttons here. So if you click on this little R here, the R stands for reference, so it's only referencing the Geo right now, we can't actually interact with it. If we click that there, that'll turn off and then we can select on the geometry. Now we're going to go ahead and click Control A to bring up the attribute editor. And all the way to the right is where your textures are going to be. So you can see that the color here is black, but it has an imported node here. If you look under image name, you can see that it's looking for where the original creator had saved this texture. So if we hit this folder button and relocate that file, this is the shirt, so we're going to look for the shirt diffuse. Click open, and now we have our textures. Sometimes when you import one texture and all of the other textures are in that location, it will recognize that and auto load the rest for you. Otherwise, you will have to go in and do them individually. Another thing to note is that Maya doesn't automatically accept all file types from the get-go. So if the file type that you're trying to work with is compatible with Maya, but you're not able to import it, we're gonna go up here to the Windows tab hit settings preferences, and then we're going to hit plugin manager. So this is a list of every possible thing that Maya will accept as a file type. So if we pretend that the FBX file type isn't already loaded, and we want to import an FBX, there's two checkboxes here. There's loaded and there's auto load. Loaded will allow you to import an FBX during this session. And auto load will tell Maya that you wanna be able to import FBX anytime that you open Maya. After we check those off, we're gonna hit refresh and then we're gonna hit close. So now you are able to import that file type. And that's all you need to know about importing models or rigs into Maya. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like or subscribe. It really helps this channel out. If there's any tutorials that you'd like me to do in the future, please leave a comment below and let me know so I can try to help you out. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.